fill in for me for song lead, and I'm filling in for Adam for doing the invitation. <clears throat> uh, in our class tonight, we kind of ended in Romans chapter 11, verse 22. It says, Behold, therefore, the goodness and the severity of God on them who fell severity, but toward you goodness. If you continue in his goodness, otherwise you shall also be cut off. We talked about that there are like two sides of God. There's the good side of his kindness, mercy, and goodness, and grace, and love. It's just beautiful and wonderful, and he's offering that side to us. But there's also the side of God of justice and righteousness, his severity. And if we rebel against God, we reject him, and we are disobedient, and we're in sin and transgression, and we die, that's not a pretty side to like that. Because there is coming a day of judgment when we will have to give an account of ourselves. And so we extend invitation in view of the coming day of judgment that if you have not made your life right with God and you're of the age of accountability and you know within your heart, well, yeah, you got sin in your life, you got to come to Jesus if you want to be forgiven. That's the only way. No other way. Only in Christ Jesus. If we would believe in Jesus, the Son of God, believe in His death, burial, and resurrection, if we would believe that message and His commands to uh, believe upon Him, to His command to repent, and that's going to mean turning from sin, but also a turning to God and to obey his command to confess Jesus before men and obey his command to be baptized for the remission of sins. Those are the steps to become a Christian, to become a child of God. You can do that. If you need further help or explanation or want to study further, we'll be happy. Get our Bibles and we'll look further. We've got tons of verses for all those points. And be happy to uh, uh, help you to be sure that you have clarity in your mind. Yeah, that's what the Lord wants me to do. And then you do what you see and what you read right in the Bible. And then if you are a Christian and you fall away, well, you come back through repentance of prayer, the second law of pardon. We read about places like that in Acts chapter 8 where Simon, who had obeyed the gospel, and he fell into sin and transgression, and he was told to repent and pray, God, perhaps the thought of the heart may be forgiven you. Or in Acts chapter 19, when some of the Christians that fell into sin, uh, they came uh, confessing and acknowledging their deeds, and they came back to the Lord, making things right. We're going to sing this song to your encouragement. Jesus is calling. He is calling. We, we're just vocalizing the call of Jesus. Jesus is coming to me, all you the labor and heavy laid, and I'll give you rest. If you need to respond to heaven's invitation in any way, anyhow, we could assist you that in. You come and let us know. We'll be glad to assist you. Water.